Hey Bubble family, welcome back to the channel. So before I get into this video, I just would like to say a huge, huge thank you. Um, I was working this morning and then I decided to come on to check some of the comments because as you know, I like to go through all of the comments. Um, firstly, to make sure that there's no one being really hateful um, and nasty to anyone in the community because that's not what I want here and those comments do get deleted. Um, but also because I like you to know that I do value um, the fact that you take the time to write a comment, the fact that you're supporting me on the channel. Um, and of course, I have noticed that I have hit 14,000. Well, actually, as of recording this, it's gone to 14,100 subscribers. I am so blown away because this is like, it's like it's gone crazy overnight. Um, and even though, you know, the channel is, you know, has struggled for a while because a lot of you, uh, who are new here don't know that I was really trolled quite badly last year. Um, and so I've really fought to keep this channel going because I was dropping subscribers exponentially and, um, for some reason I was really targeted. Um, and so I've, struggled to keep it going um but i've stuck with it and you guys who have supported me from the beginning who have stuck with me i'm so grateful to you and the new people that have come on board to be part of this bubble community um i will put a timestamp by the way if you don't want to listen to this waffle because i know some of you don't um to what i'm actually going to be talking about on the channel um but i just want to say thank you to all of you, to the people that have, like I say, stuck with me from the beginning, to the people that have joined here, whether it be from my lovely friend Trev's channel, um, because he's a huge supporter of mine. And, I mean, whether or not you know this, but we are friends outside of the channel um, and we support each other. So I'm very grateful to him and to anyone else who kind of does give me a shout out, to anyone else who does share my videos. I'm very, very grateful um, also to to you um but more so my wonderful subscribers thank you so so much because without you well this this channel um it, it wouldn't work let's let's be fair you know with any youtube channel um without the people that want to watch my videos or want to support my channel it wouldn't work so i am always always grateful to you so big big thank you so much so in today's video, I'm going to actually kind of reiterate and, and sort of talk a little bit about the video that I did yesterday. Um, that has blown up. I It's probably the biggest um, views I've had for a long time. Um, and I was quite shocked, actually. I didn't quite expect it to kind of blow up the way it did. Um, but again, I'm very grateful. But like with everything, of course, um, what seems to happen is the haters come out of the woodwork because they really, really don't like it when you talk about the truth or facts, um, especially when it comes to Megan. They don't seem to be that bothered about Harry, but when you talk negatively about Megan, they really, really, really don't like it. Um, so, of course, I did expect a little bit of it and they didn't let me down. They, they did come out of the woodwork. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that because a few people have asked me questions in the comments. So I kind of want to talk about um, those comments and reiterate a little bit more on yesterday today's video. So if you want to uh, join me on that, you know what to do. Grab your drink of choice today. Mine is Vimto Squash. I don't know why, but I've seemed to really got a liking for this Vimto Squash right now. Um, so yeah, so grab your drink of choice, whether it's tea, coffee, milk, some by, someone in the, in the thing yesterday said they were having a glass of whiskey, you know, whether it be a glass of Prosecco, nice bubbly because it's like beautiful weather, um, whether it be a peach snaps, whether it be gin, whatever it is, because it's five o'clock somewhere. So grab that drink and let's dive right in. So welcome back, Bubbles. Um, I, just, <laughs> I, I, I am actually, actually, why is it every video I do, I seem to at some point not get my words out? Actually, well, I'm just going to say that's a new word. Um, actually, um, 
I am blown away by the responses I have got from yesterday's video in regards to talking about the photograph of the alleged child that is Lily. Um, I kind of got a few comments from people in regards to that particular video and a lot of the things that people are asking is why you know why now um why are they doing this you know um the royal family do they know do they not know and someone asked you know how do we manage how do we cope in a society where it seems like we are being consistently lied to um so I kind of want to touch on a little bit of this in regards to the things that I have been asked. So, OK, so. A few people have obviously spoken about the, the photograph and you seem to be all in unity in the fact that you are seeing the fact that this photograph, there is something very off about this photograph. Well, to be honest, all photographs they've done. So what I have heard, whether it be through people that I have watched, um, you know, Lady C being one of them. I think, you know, she's she's brilliant and I really do respect her. Um, obviously Trevor, you know, and um, my own people, the people that contact me, um, they left, I have to say allegedly, allegedly, um, Saturday. <laughs> so of course, if they left Saturday, when did this party happen then at Frogmore? Because they left. Um, so what I am hearing, and it makes sense because we are talking about one that has narcissistic personality and another who has developed narcissistic traits, but is also very immature and has what I believe, I mean, obviously these are not official diagnoses because I don't work with them, but just going from behaviour that I've seen, things that I know, um, Harry does look a bit like he's got histrionic, which I have spoken about in a previous video. So what I believe happened is, you know, first and foremost, you've got the fact that they came over here in the first place. And a few people have said, well, why bother coming over here? Um, and I have touched on this in a previous video because I believe they wanted or they be, they thought that they were going to get the royal treatment. Um, they were obviously included in the Thanksgiving. They were meant to be going to the luncheon and they were meant to be going to the party. I think the first thing that happened was... What was interesting to me is that they didn't actually come in their own car. They came in a security detailed vi in a vehicle. Um, because if you look at the, the the procession of the royals, they all came in a car with a security detail behind them. I think some of them had one car um, and with obviously blackened out windows. And then some of them, I think the more senior royals had two. Um, well, Harry and Meghan seemed to it looked like they came in the security car they didn't actually have their own car with security behind them they actually came in the security car which i found very odd now i don't know if anyone knows why that was but it just seemed very strange to me um so i don't know whether this was uh because obviously it would have been noted so it's almost as if going by their behavior um that this was a ploy because it's almost like creating this air of we're so scared that we would actually rather than go in our own car we would rather travel um in a security detailed car because we feel safer so i do wonder if there was an element of that because every, let's face it everything they do there is an agenda you know they don't just you know they, they just can't be normal in a sense they have to have an agenda with everything so obviously this pops possibly would have been noted so I believe that this was a, a kind of to create this because he obviously is suing a, to do with the security um so I wonder if this was kind of in keeping with that it's you know we're obviously clearly so scared that we'd rather travel in a security detail vehicle than rather in our own with security behind us um but of course that goes out of the window because they ro she rolled down the window you know of a blackened out vehicle so if you're so terrified then you wouldn't have done that and again no children in the car 
and Harry didn't look like so he looked best pleased. So I do wonder if there was an element of that because what I'm guessing is if that was the case, um, Harry would have been very annoyed because he would now know that that blows it all out of the water because if you're that scared, you wouldn't have done that. So it possibly is now going to ruin that um, court case. So um, so that's that. Um, so of course then they turn up at St Paul's Cathedral and yes, when they got out of the car, there were cheers. But when people I think realised who it was getting out of the car, they were then booed. You could hear the boos. And I wonder if, I don't know if the bells were actually meant to be going off the way they were but it seemed very interesting to me that those bells were suddenly put put there and um and uh and I wonder if this was almost maybe a purpose because they possibly realized they might get booed um but I mean obviously it wasn't incredibly loud but you could hear it um so of course then they they walk up the steps they you know they're not really that important they don't go in with any of the other royals um, and then, of course, then they make their way to the seats and they are in the second row. And again, I will do a video, another video on this one, uh, because I have promised you all this week I will be talking about this particular event. Um, and then they leave and they are booed. Now, there have been people that have said they weren't booed. People have stated that the, the, the boos were for Boris Johnson. Yes, Boris Johnson got booed, but that's completely different they were booed very loudly um but i think certain certain footage tried to drown out or edited out the boos but they were booed they were so what i think then what i've heard happened is harry was very upset furious that this happened so when you look at these two people Firstly, you had Meghan's frozen Cheshire grin. Um, and again, I will do this video on when they come out, the body language. Um, I will do this video on that particular thing. But let's talk about, you know, what happened there. So then she had this frozen grin. Um, and, and Harry, you could see he was visibly upset. So then they got in the car. Now, at this point, you've got to remember that Megan is a megalomaniac narcissist. She's she's She doesn't care. Well, well, mm, she does. She does because her image is everything. But it's it's it drives, it's kind of like that narc supply because what that does is almost make her kind of almost determined to... Um, like the narc revenge to fight back. So at this point, I absolutely would have gar could guarantee you that she still would have wanted to go to the luncheon. She still would have wanted to go to the party, but Harry didn't. So I think at this point, because she's in the UK and because we're, and if you notice their body language, when we've seen footage of them anywhere outside of the UK, she's dominant. You see this dominant uh, behavior from her. She takes the lead. Um, Suddenly she comes to the UK and all of a sudden it changes and she goes very almost submissive. Um, I think she's out of her comfort zone here. She knows she's not liked. She doesn't. This would really play havoc with a narcissist. So she's kind of out of her comfort zone here. So in a way, this is where Ham Harry, Hammy, <laughs> Hammy Harry would become more dominant. Um so I believe that what would have happened is he would have said, we're going back to Frogmore. We're not going anywhere else. I'm not putting up with this. And regardless of what Megan had said or done, um, this he would have put his foot down. So from what I have heard, from what I know, is that they basically packed up their stuff and they left. Um, now, what I've also been told, allegedly, is that when they arrived at, in California, that they were also seen um, going their separate ways. Um, now, again, I don't know how true this is. It could be just hearsay, but it does make sense to me because I've always said that I don't believe they are together together. Um, I've always stated that I think they are in a business relationship. They only turn up to events together to kind of create the illusion they're still together. That's why you get this very over the top um, public display of, of affection. Um, when you are secure within yourself, you don't necessarily do this all the time. Um, and again, I will do another video on this. So they left. They didn't go to the luncheon, which they were invited to. Um, and they didn't, like I say, go to the party. And a lot of it was because also I'm believing that they possibly found out that um, 
especially with the party, is that they were not in the royal box. And it's interesting because I found footage of Harry, I believe it was at the last Jubilee, and he's obviously looking a lot younger and he's sitting in the box with William and he just looks so happy. And it's really sad, actually. And this is I do find this very sad that that this has happened. I mean, it is his own doing and he's only got himself to blame. But I just think it is very sad. So, yeah, so they left. So these for this kind of footage that's now come out with uh, the child um, it is, in my opinion, is not revenge. A, it deflects from the fact that they left and they were not around and I'm guaranteeing at some point it possibly will come out in by them that they weren't invited or they will create some kind of victim narrative rather than the fact that they just left um and of course they use the ruse of well we had to get back for the children you know <laughs> and to be with family um well the family weren't there anyway you know so you, you know this this lie that is coming out consistently with this with these two is just crazy to me and of course people are asking why well i think they were put in a situation way back when they left the uk and i want to do a video at length on this because i have an opinion on this and i know that people differ on opinions and that's fine but i have an opinion on why they left the uk um and i think they in in my heart i don't think they wanted to i think she wanted the best of both worlds i think she wanted to be and i'm not talking about when she realized that a lot you know a lot of the rural kind of was quite boring i think she really did think she was going to be like some disney princess and um tiaras and gowns and you know state kind of whatever it is um, and then she realised it wasn't. So I think she wanted the half in, half out. I think she wanted to kind of have this uh, royal connection and she was going to utilise that royal connection going to Hollywood. Um, and I think that's when the Queen said no. And I don't think they expected that. So I think obviously there are a lot of other factors in place. And like I say, I will do a video on that. But they left. So what you see, this is not a couple that's happy. This It's not. You know, because if you're happy, you don't behave this way. You know, a narcissist also is never happy they're always pushing the goalposts so it doesn't matter what they get they want more and they consistently want more they want to be the best they want to be the top they want the the, the most fame the most money um, it is really always about that and when if someone gets in their way boy you need to look out and that's what's happened the royal family have got in their way the queen has got in their way so this is why you are now seeing this narc revenge and so this picture of Lily, in my opinion, is A, deflection from the fact that they were not there, um, B, uh, bringing the attention back to them. And interestingly, someone else pointed out, and I also agree, Louis, Prince Louis got a lot of attention. So again, this comes back to let's take it away from Prince Louis. Let's make it all about my child. And also what is also interesting is that Archie hasn't featured anywhere. It's almost as if Archie doesn't even exist anymore. It is all about Lily now alleged uh, because, like I say, I am not convinced that this child um, is even with them. Um, and like I say, I will do other videos on Archie and what I think about Archie. But this is just to do with what this video was about yesterday. So, yes, you have this narc revenge going on with her. The fact that Harry is not in the picture creates me to think that Harry doesn't want to be compl complicit as much, even though this this I believe this lie is happening. He is trying to distance himself as much as possible without dropping her in it. Um, you know, not being in a in a in a photo, albeit weird and strange, can be. Uh, you can kind of excuse that. You know, you can explain it almost. Um, so, the, but the fact that it was saying that they're saying that it happened at Frogmore, it's like it it, it doesn't match any of the, the the kind of a lot of people have done like the fact checking on, and it's and it's not. Um, the fact that the, the photograph, the black and white one, is heavily edited to the point where it actually looks mismatched. It's almost like Megan and this child is plonked in there. It's like a young Megan holding a child and then it's plonked in because it's almost like there's no unity with the two adults. 
even the two children are acknowledging that they're there. So it's a, it's very strange in my opinion. Um, but we knew this was going to happen. You know, we knew that they were going to, like I say, enact this kind of like bringing the attention somehow. And of course, there's people that are saying, um, well, they didn't want the attention to be um, to do with the Queen. They were respecting the Queen. That's why they released this footage afterwards. Um, BS, because Megan's a narcissist. She wouldn't have cared. She would have wanted that attention, which is why she appeared at the window and so did Harry. Um, if they were so interested in the in the Queen, A, they would not have rolled down the window out of their vehicle and B, they would not have been at that window when they weren't supposed to be. Um, and also then they would have turned up to the other events. If they were that bothered about the Queen, they would have gone to where they're invited. They wouldn't have cared that they weren't front and centre. They would have just gone anyway because they would have known that it would have upset set the queen so that's why they didn't do it so this whole kind of thing of like well they were trying to respect the queen and releasing this footage afterwards no nope, sorry don't buy it at the end of the day like i say you're a narcissist um and so when you're you know everything is about you um the other thing is people are saying that apparently the queen was asked if there would be a photograph with her and Lily and a queen said no. Well, firstly, there's been no official statement made in regards to this because some people have said that the queen has also had a photograph taken with Lily, but the queen has kept the pho the photograph. Um, okay, well, I wasn't there. I don't know for sure, but it seems a bit strange to me that the queen um, on Lily's birthday would not allow a photograph to be published. The Queen is not bitter. The Queen is not a nasty person. So the fact that the Queen has had various photographs with her children, including being on the balcony with her grandchildren and her own children, um, great grandchildren. Um, so to me, if there was a photograph, I absolutely believe that this would have been released. Yes, it's possible that it would have been copywritten to the to the to you know to the um, the monarchy and the queen, but it still would have been released. I think there would have been an official photograph, and there would have been a photograph pro probably of the rest of the family with Lily, because there was one when there was up uh, when Archie was born. Why would she all of a sudden go? You know what? I've got photographs of all of my grandchildren and great grandchildren, but in this particular instance, I'm not going to bother. It's Lily's first birthday, which is huge. You know, people have also said, well, she wants to keep it for photo opportunity. She wants to milk it. There is not a better chance to milk a photograph than a royal photograph with the child. Um, there is no money shot bigger, in my opinion, than that. So if she was really interested in having a photograph taken. She could have had one of her photographers, because I do believe she did bring them, take this photograph of Lily standing at the window. No, <laughs> Lily doesn't stand because she's a year old. Megan standing at the window, even with Harry, with the other children even, and holding Lily or an official photograph with the Queen. Um, no bigger money shot. If she was interested, which she is, about the money, then that would have been the perfect opportunity to have that. Archie at the concert, you know, these are the perfect opportunities to have the children there. Um, like I say, to the, you know, when she's at the balcony, even in the car, you know, if the children were in the car, she could have had them, you know, you know, Lily at the window, Archie sitting next to Harry, um, perfect money shot. And that would have probably gone viral. And in all offence, would have probably taken the attention away. So yes, the Queen has orchestrated this and literally put a kibosh on anything to do with them. But I don't think she would have taken it out on the children. I really, really don't. Magan, Megan, oh my gosh. Megan and Harry. Yes, but the children, no. I think she would have utilised this opportunity to really bring the family back into the fold because I think more than the others, I think the Queen is a very generous woman and she really wants, I think she genuinely wanted them there and she wanted to include them as much as possible but not allow them to 
record and and I think that's why even though there is footage of um, Meghan and Harry entering and then looks like she's possibly got recording equipment that's why nobody spoke to them because they weren't able to get anything um, so yeah so that's why and one of the other questions that people have asked is how do we cope how do we cope with this consistent amount of lies how do we manage in a world where you know the media are playing us like fools um well, in that instance, you just have to look after you. You know, you have to recognise that if you want to believe it, you know, like obviously there are the, the sycophatic fan base who want to believe that Megan is, you know, holier than thou. Um, that's their choice. You know, that's their choice. If they want to be blind to the truth, blind to the facts, that's their choice. The same as it is our choice, my choice to bring the facts and what I believe to be true on this channel. That is why this, this community is being built, because I want to speak the truth. You know, I'm tired of the lies. So you have to ask yourself, what is it you want to believe? You know, and if you believe it to be true, um, anything else doesn't matter. You know, if you believe that they're lying, it doesn't matter that, that, that you know, that other people don't. You know, it's, you know, it, I mean, I speak to people that still think that that Megan, there's nothing wrong with Megan. And, you know, and even though I find that truly unbelievable, given the amount of evidence there is, um, I, I let them get on with it. You know, I'm not here to change their their opinion, because if these videos don't change, you know, the, the amount of evidence that comes out and there are a lot more better people than me that talk about it and expose it and, you know, pick apart the photographs and things like that. And if that's not enough to create people to change their mind then nothing will you know so in your corner of the world you just stay true to who you are and be okay within that you know if you're starting to feel anxious with it all switch it off it doesn't matter in the great scheme of things you know people have said to me why do you care so much I don't care about them but I care about the truth I care about being lied to you know I don't, I don't like that you know this is this is a couple that has got their children in the line of succession that matters to me you know, it matters to me. If I'm wrong and if it comes out that these children absolutely do exist and we're all wrong, then I'll be one of the first people to hold my hand up and say, you know what, I was wrong and I'm sorry, you know, but I don't think I am. And I'm sure plenty of others don't, you know, so stay true to who you are. You know, I don't, you know, yes, sometimes it creates me to feel angry, but you know, I have to look at that. You know, why does it affect me so much? And I think deep down is because I, I, I am not someone that lies and I don't appreciate being lied to. Um, when I work with clients, one of the first things I work on is honesty. And not just about what you give out to other people, but what you give to yourself. You know, you have to be willing to go to that that place of being really honest, being accountable for your own actions. And this is something that Harry and Meghan have never done. They have never sat there and gone, you know what? We messed up. We hurt the Queen. We hurt our family and we were wrong. We should never have done that, you know. And that is one of the biggest things, you know, to me is is owning that part of you that, that creates, uh, that, that where you are possibly are either lying to yourself, lying to other people, um, or even hurting other people. You, you, you have to look at that. They don't care. Harry is just like a big man child. You know, everything is unfair. You know, he reminds me of this uh, sitcom that we we had here in England called Kevin and Perry. And the, and the um, and one of them was just like forever going, oh, it's so unfair. Oh, I hate you. And Harry reminds me of that. He reminds me of, you know, bearing in mind the age he is, he just reminds me of this man child, this spoilt man child that just is just everything is just so unfair everyone's out to get him um you know he does nothing wrong um and of course megan absolutely delights in that you know she you know she will feed that with him see i told you your family was terrible i told you they would do this you know which feeds that you know that's that's what narcissists do they they find those kind of weaknesses or vulnerabilities and they really get in there um and she'd be loving this 
you know, absolutely loving. She will love the fact that she is sending the, me you know, the, 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 the whole media into a frenzy over this photograph. She won't care that people are picking this photograph apart and accusing, you know, it of being fake or whatever. That won't matter to her. She will love the fact that it, she's getting this attention. You know, but there is a difference between the way the media do this to the people like us who expose it. It's not going to make that much difference. But the more people we can show, the more people that we can say, look at this evidence here. And even if it changes one person's perception, like I've had on this channel, you know what? I've had people that come and say, oh, I used to really like Megan. I used to really like Harry. You know, I used to even think the children exist after seeing this I, and other things. I really don't believe that now. You know, so people's perceptions are changing. Their fan base is getting smaller and smaller. And that is what matters. You know, she is not welcome in Hollywood. People are not interested in her. So she's got to squeeze that last connection. And the last connection for her is the children. Um, her end game? Don't know. Um, can't answer that. Um, you know, a narcissist wants the ultimate power, fame, money. Um, and the thing is, the more doors that are shut... Um, the more she will push back because that's how she is. Um, I think the ultimate thing will be that they will divorce. And I think then she will then, like I say, she'll do the talk show circuit. Um, and I think the children will just disappear. Um, I, I really do. Archie pretty much more or less has, apart from the odd photograph, uh, you know, heavily edited photograph that we have of Archie's back of his head or a blurred face or something. Um, we just do not see these children. And because they live in California, um, it doesn't matter that people don't see them. It doesn't matter because the, bo <laughs> the bottom line is, you know, a lot of people can hide over there, you know, which is why I think they, they went over there. You know, it's this, you know, over in the UK, this would have been exposed by now. And, uh, and the media, I think the, the fact that the media don't really talk about it, I think they know, they know. And I think there's an NDA somewhere and it's possible that they're protecting the queen. Um, I don't know whether the royal family are in on it. I hope not. Um, but I suspect that there's some some blackmail going on and I suspect it's to do with Harry. I think that she has got some information um, on whether it be Andrew or whether it be Harry. And I think she has threatened to release it. So that's why I think that Harry's staying with her for now. I think he's stuck. If you look at a lot of the body language when he's done the interviews, this man is not a happy man. He's not. You know, um, so, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Um, like I say, you know, just stay true, stay true to yourself. You know, this is what this community is about. This is about, you know, we are looking for facts and the truth. And, you know, I am happy to stick with what I believe. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. Um, like I say, but if I'm proven wrong, then I'll be the first person to say I was wrong. So, yeah, as always, thank you so much for you. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everybody who has bought me a cup of tea. Um, thank you to everyone who is, but you know, it's bought my merchandise. Um, and just for being you, you know, you never forget that you are all amazing um, truth seekers like myself. And I appreciate you and I love you for the support you have given me. Um, so here's to many more subscribers to our bubble community. And yeah, take care. Have a good week, guys. And also don't forget that my live with Trev will be this Friday, 7 p.m. UK time. So if you have nothing better to do, make sure that you join us. Take care, bubble family. Bye.